Hello and welcome back to Educator.com and welcome back to Biochemistry. So today our topic is going to be regulatory enzymes. Uh, regulatory enzymes do exactly what the name suggests. They regulate um, the speed of certain processes. Most enzymes uh, participate in metabolic pathways. The product of one enzyme reaction becomes the uh, substrate for the next enzyme reaction and on down the line. So one or more of those enzymes in a metabolic pathway is going to regulate the flow of substrate through there so it controls, you know, what the body needs when it needs it. Very, very important regulatory enzyme activity. Okay. So let's see what we've got. So let's repeat what we just said in writing here. So in metabolism, both catabolic and anabolic, uh, groups of enzymes, enzymes, they work in sequences, <clears throat> excuse me, called metabolic pathways. Metabolic pathways to achieve a certain goal. To achieve a certain goal. And that goal is some molecule that they need to either completely break down or completely synthesize. Okay, now the product of one enzyme the product of one enzyme in the sequence <clears throat> excuse me as we said becomes the substrate for the next enzyme in the sequence becomes the substrate for the next enzyme in the sequence Okay, so uh, a good example of this is glycolysis. It's going to be uh, the, one of the first metabolic pathways that we actually look at when we get to the second part of, the, um, of this class. So an example, oops. An example is glycolysis. And glycolysis is the breakdown, the conversion um, I'll go ahead and call it the breakdown because it is a catabolic pathway. The breakdown of one glucose molecule to two molecules of something called pyruvate. Two molecules of pyruvate. <clears throat> it's the beginning of how the body metabolizes the sugar in your in. Uh, that you intake in order to produce energy. Okay, so the sequence goes like this. We have glucose going to glucose 6-phosphate, going to fructose 6-phosphate, going to fructose 1,6-biphosphate, going to glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate, and dihydroxyacetone. The uh, dihydroxyacetone is converted to another molecule of glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate. So now we have two glyceraldehyde 3-phosphates. Uh, this goes to 1,3-biphosphoglycerate, uh, goes to 3-phosphoglycerate, goes to 2-phosphoglycerate, goes to phosphoenolpyruvate, and, and then finally we have our pyruvate. So this is a metabolic pathway. It is glycolysis. These are the individual steps. And each step is catalyzed by a particular enzyme, a separate enzyme. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten enzymes in this metabolic pathway. One or more of these enzymes is going to be a regulatory enzyme. It's going to control the flow of glucose through this pathway. I mean, this is the first one. This is the last one. 
Now, the regulatory enzyme doesn't have to be the first or the last. It, it, it tends to be, often. Um, it can be somewhere in the middle, too. Um, so, but ultimately, what it's controlling, it's controlling the flow of the initial substrate all the way through product. So, that's all that's going on here. Okay. So, let's see. So, one or more. Enzymes along a given pathway. They have the capacity to affect the overall rate of the pathway. Rate. Um, I'll just say the rate at which substrate flows through the pathway. It's probably a little better description. Flows through the pathway by increasing or decreasing catalytic activity. By increasing or decreasing catalytic activity. So as you can see, the reason the body works as well as it does is because of this regulation. There are millions of things going on, millions of reactions happening simultaneously. The body needs to maintain a certain steady state, some reasonable degree of equilibrium at all times. Um, but the body is subject to all kinds of um, external uh, effectors, if you will, temperature, um, hydrogen ion concentration, the food that we eat, all kinds of things going on, um, immune stress. The body needs to adjust that. Regulatory enzymes, regulatory proteins, that's what they do. Okay, and catalytic activity. All right. Uh, in response to specific signals, obviously. So in response to specific signals. So. For example, if there's too much of certain molecule in the body and the body needs to sort of cut that back so that that excess is actually used up, a regulatory enzyme will shut down a particular pathway that's producing that molecule temporarily until that, you know, concentration of molecule diminishes and then it'll open up the floodgates again to allow more to, that, that's it, that's all that's going on here. Specific signals. Okay. So those are the regulatory enzymes. Now, these... Uh, let me go back to black. I like black, actually. <clears throat> oh, two. Oh, nice. Um, so these regulatory enzymes these regulatory enzymes do exactly what they are named for. regulate the overall rate at which substrate and or product appears or disappears. Very, very intuitive notion. There's nothing particularly counterintuitive about uh, regulation. We do it all the time in our daily lives. Okay, so now let's talk about some of the mechanisms of regulation. What do enzymes do to regulate? How do they go about it? Okay, so let me go to... Oh, I have some green ink now. Very nice. Go to blue.